Welcome back, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, so this is the story of Harry Paul French. So as you can see in the begin load-up screen, uh, the Harry Paul French is a young truck driver who has no income in trucking, but his employer wanted to give him a shot. And his employer is a guy named uh, Huckleberry Finn. And uh, their job is in Farmington, New York, Mexico. And uh, so he's going to try to make a little bit of money here, trucking, doing his thing. Let's watch for both traffic, both ways. There's a lot of traffic coming that way. Anything coming that way? Yep. Okay, never mind. Alright, we're around the road. We need a signal and let this courtesy of these drivers try to... Oh, crap. I didn't have an option. I had to block you off. Sorry. Anyway, this is Farming, New Mexico. He's a on truck driver. He also has a girlfriend who works at a dive bar in Farmington, New Mexico. And has and her name is Nana Barbarova. And uh, otherwise known as Butt Tooth Betty. And, uh, you know, so that's why he's doing this, to make some money to support him and her. And uh, that's basically the story. And, uh, yeah, so that's the story, and... That's how was going on, and Huckleberry Finn saw was something in his trucker, so he decided to give him a shot. And, uh, and the reason why uh, his girlfriend is named Bucktooth Betty is because she's missing a couple of teeth. So, we're stopped at our red light, so... Boy, this light takes a while. Come on. So the company is a Aussie American French based company that's uh, well that's the name of the company is Aussie American French so in New Mexico so don't know however but you know under the uh, you know, anyone's allowed to enter the United States these days, so I don't, uh, I don't find it hard to believe, so. Volvo truck dealer discovered. All right, that's awesome if you want to get a Volvo truck. So. to merge over at some point. I am. Darn.
And uh, Nina Barova's employer that employs her at this dive bar is a low life, is a low life piece of scum. So, Harry Paul French ought to just, uh, you know, put a stop to him and clean the guy's clock, you know? So, and of course, you heard that. So, it's my computer saying they hate me. So, all right. Case blue. There you go. So how are everybody doing on this uh, five Thursday morning? Uh, I believe it will probably be March 25th. Oh great, I got a red light violation course. Awesome. Might get out of here before the boys in blue show up. Hopefully y'all doing good. Uh, so there's a couple new DLCs coming out for uh, American Truck Sim in Russia uh, for the European uh, Truck Simulator too. And uh, one's Wyoming for American Truck Sim in Texas. And then like I said, the uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is a, a uh, Russia, I believe. So, when those DLCs come out, I will probably buy them both. And then uh, we'll probably do a couple live streams on them during that week. Or not during that week, but uh, for sure, Friday nights and Saturday nights for sure will be the American truck sim and the Euro truck sim for uh, when the DLCs come out. So, and it will be the uh, continuing adventures of uh, Tom Sawyer and uh, Harry, Harry Paul French. So, just to keep you heads up. Yeah, we're in Colorado. Awesome. Durango, Colorado was the location. So. I'm not going to end the video on this after I get this job done. I'm going to keep going for a little bit yet. So, if you're alright with that. I think I'm in the right lane. I hope I am. Looks like I am. 
Looks like my turn off might be actually up here. Maybe. Yeah. It looks like it's right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I never come out to the gate before. Yikes. Why do you need it? Heck yeah. I really want this. Sorry guys, I'm concentrating too hard. Oh wait, is this it? Yikes, this is it. Oh crap. Look, I'm trying to back it into something. Turns out I'm not even the right thing. X.
whatever. Right there. Screw it. All right. So experience is 73 over 200 right now. So uh, we're going to keep rock and rolling and hopefully. Okay, well, that's fine. Great. Job market. Get hired as a professional driver. Marengo, Colorado. Take it. All right. So Durango, Colorado to where the heck are we going again? Oh, Albuquerque. Yep. Got it. Cool. So we're going back into New Mexico here in a minute. All right. To fire the life. All right, rock and roll. This time it's the Peterbilt. Peterbilt trucks are some of the best trucks around, if you know what I mean. I think, in my opinion, I had nothing against a good Peterbilt. All right, let's uh, go while the coast is clear. One thing I have uh, against the uh, the game is the idea of how they give you. Sometimes they give you for jobs they give you very little fill, so you have to fill up right away, which is kind of stinky. So okay, we should make a lane change if we can. If we can, got it. So this is job number two for Harry Polly Jones or Harry Henry Harry Paul Jones. Something about bank probably giving me a chance to get some money from them if I, if I need cash. I'll look at it later. I can look at it after the job. Signal properly, which you did. Living color for Colorado. Cool. We're going to get back into Albuquerque. New Mexico, land of enchantment. All right, so there you 
got to move in there. Lay it down. Two red lights and two red light violations in the same day. Things are going good for us. Awesome, right? Hey, I got to bring you guys in for a little excitement. So. Now we're cruising a little bit, uh, just trying to make some good time. We're going to put the hammer down a little bit and uh, see if we can shorten this trip. And then hopefully, uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to back the truck up on a dime without too much hiccups like we did on the last one. So... So sit back, enjoy the show, relax. If any truckers are watching this, uh, watching this video when it comes out, uh, feel free to post some comments. Let me know what your favorite truck is. Reminisce on the days when you were a trucker, back in the good days before the before the world went into a pandemic state of mind. So, I can't believe we haven't figured out a way to get this pandemic kicked in the rear, you know? But, uh, whatever. They're using it more as a political thing now, these days, so. But... I'll shut up about that. Just sit back and enjoy some trucking. So. Knee spinning down. Jerry Reed's son the best, man. So there's this restaurant in, T in Tucson, Tucson, Arizona, that's called the Truck Stop, Triple T. And uh, that has some really darn good food. I mean, if you want really good, really good, really good food, hearty stuff, go there. I went there once with a buddy of mine who's father is a trucker and uh we had a late we had a late dinner and it was amazing i don't remember what the heck i had now but uh it was still pretty good but uh harry paul uh french is making some good time on his job 
He's a great, he's doing some great things. He uh, just is following every speed limit he can. He's a young punk, but I think he's doing all right, you know? His biggest thing on his mind is getting his uh, girlfriend out of that dive bar and uh, working for some real, making some real money doing a job she enjoys because that job, no calls coming in and out as a business, you know? And the stink, and the most stinkiest thing about the bar slash ship joint is they, the PA system never works, the radio's busted, and when they do get the sound system working, they play a honky tonk with donk and donk by Trace Atkins and it gets stuck on repeat. And, you know, Nana Baroba can only listen to that many songs before she, you know, gets into a cranky mood. So, that's why our trucker friend has to make enough money by episode three to get her out of there. So, But tune in the next week, next Thursday, to figure out what happens in episode two of, with our main character, or of our young trucker here, Harry Paul French. I think Huckleberry Finn is very pleased so far with what he's seeing. I mean, he could have preferred to have had a little bit of precise parking bonus on the last job, but, you know, live and let learn, you know? I'll report to uh, Huckleberry Finn at the end of the episode and let him know how many jobs I got done or Harry Polly French will let him know how many jobs he got done. And uh, we'll see what the next job looks like. So. Well, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Can't afford a wreck. So keep it slowed down. What are you doing? Crap. Really? I'm fishtailed by that car. Did you see that? These drivers, man, they have no freaking respect. What an imbecile. This is Harry Paul French talking, by the way, not me. I run them off the road. Just because I can. Well, with any luck, we'll have our job done by 5.30.
Are they coming? I guess not, huh? Well, they made it to Albuquerque. So, that's a good thing. Let's see where they want it. Okay. They want it in the back, apparently. What the heck are we stuck on? What the heck are we stuck on?
Yeah, never mind. We'll skip that one too. All right, level one newbie. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, go fragile car. All right, so uh, 377 XP, newbie level, progress history. So let's check our emails real quick. Need money, we can help. So that's a banking, brand new international, Flagstaff, Arizona. Let's go. So let's find our new job. And, uh, hmm, furniture, uh, what is that, three hours, 10 hours and 52 minutes, take that job. All right. I'm gonna play this a little bit and then we'll stop. So, hey boss, uh, this is Henry Paul French calling in on your uh, company phone. And uh, I just wanna let you know that uh, I completed two jobs so far. I wasn't able to get the precise parking bonus. Please don't hurt me. Uh, I'm gonna go take on another job if that's cool. It's a three hour job. But I I really need the money, man. Thanks. Whoa, shit. Gosh, I wonder how Nina Barova is doing. Well, I got a red light because I couldn't see the red light. So, we're going to hit the open road, highway bound.
hey, if I've ever been around against, I should uh, call Sackhill, uh Attorney at Law Criminal Affairs. Maybe I can dispute the uh, red light uh, violations. That would be nice. Oh gosh, I need some fuel. I should have stopped before it was a uh, before I got in the, the area. What a rush. Oh, yikes, I could have stopped and got some fuel. Uh oh. Yeah, maybe I should have stopped and got fuel. Yikes. Is there a way to stop and get fuel over here? Or no, not yet. No. Whoops. Uh, okay. Well, times are moving on. Got a bet we can't go that way. Can we? Well, we might be able to. Yeah, maybe. We need fuel, boys. We are in desperate need of fuel, boys. Okay, Chevron Station. Heck yeah, you are a beautiful sight to see. Close to narrow shaving that one. All right, boys. Get back on the road here. So I've never really been in New Mexico before, but it seems pretty nice, or at least Harry Polly French tells me about it all the time. Sometimes he gets bored and calls me up and says, Hey man, what you doing? How's life in Arizona? And I'm like, yeah, Arizona life is the same thing as it always ever is and always ever will be. We never got a drought this year, so hopefully we get a better monsoon season. And he's like, yeah, that sucks. New Mexico had the same thing. So, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Sometimes you get decent rain. Sometimes you don't get anything at all. That's just the way it is sometimes. It's funny how life works sometimes. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Harry Paul French is making good time. He only got one traffic violation because of a red light. He failed to yield for. So, yeah. It's all good.
It just passed over the Rio Grande River. That's awesome. Too bad I can't take it in the sights because uh, I'm trucking and I gotta meet up with a job here pretty soon. Past the bus. Rock and roll. Yeah, we'll put the hammer down. I don't think the boys in blue are going to mind too much. We're on an open road. Perhaps we should slow down a little bit. Yep, I wish I could listen to radio. I don't think I got anything. Yep, nothing. Of course. So, sit back. I don't even have a cup of coffee. I could use a cup of coffee. Why didn't I pick up a cup of coffee when I was back at that? Uh, gas station. I should have uh, gone into the gas station, picked up a Krispy Kreme, and a cup of coffee. But I wasn't thinking. So I got about an hour and 41 minutes till I'm at my destination. I think I can make it before I get too tired because I'm still a long way off from being tired. So, uh, we're entering town. All right, I'll stop ahead here. Beautiful. And that's what uh, that's what my employer would love to see is uh, have me cruise for a green light without getting a red red light violation. That's what I like to see. Let's turn on some lights just to help us out. Driving through the desert, man. That's what it is. Yep, we're 20 minutes, uh, 20 mi miles out. We're 24 minutes out. So we'll get to our job site by 8 o'clock probably. 
or uh, Flight 56 maybe and then uh, we'll grab a I think what I'll do is I'll just take the easy parking area and uh, rock and roll. This is my fill. Forty five minutes. Cool. Rest area. Nice. But we're already here. Cool. All right, this is our going to be our contract area finished. So whoops. Sucks to be that driver. Confirm. Awesome. So here we go. Stop moving forward. Back up. Back up. All right, that's uh, that.
that puts me at that. So now we got uh, 10 grand. And game time is Monday, 7.57 p.m. So uh, that will end this uh, episode tonight. Or episode today, I mean. And uh, tune in next week on 7 a.m. Or whenever you can to watch uh, the uh, episode two uh, the Harry Paul French working for Aussie American French. So, and continuing to be in good graces for his employer, uh, Huckleberry Finn. Where? <laughs>